And the crazy thing is these are ranging from like a hundred to $150 depending on the size, which is absolutely insane. So that just goes to show it's not always about like those hyped up shoes that you guys are all familiar with. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the little series where we take $100 and we keep flipping shoes to make $100,000. Now, if you guys remember from last episode, we bought those Air Max 95s, lots of those Jordan 12s, some Vapor Maxes, those Wash Pink 1s, and a few others. We got to a grand total of $9,698.65. Now, you guys are probably all wondering, huh? how is it 82 episodes and you only have less than ten thousand dollars now the real answer is that's nine thousand six hundred and ninety eight dollars and sixty five cents in pure cash we have tens of thousands of dollars in our inventory alone which we always go through at the end of the video plus we always go through everything we sold this episode at the end so stick to then because we sold a lot of stuff this episode probably like ten thousand dollars worth of stuff this episode i'm not a hundred percent sure but we will find out then and yeah we're gonna change things up just a little bit this episode we're gonna try to make these episodes a little bit shorter for you guys so we're gonna record us going the normal amount but just combine it into one time so with that being said let's waste no more time head up to some stores and see what we're picking up this week Hey, we are back and that was three days worth of going three times a week all those clips is everything we did this week and let's start off with what we picked up we got a good amount of stuff and a crazy amount in just one shoe in particular we probably spent close to five hundred dollars but we can possibly make a thousand dollars from that shoe alone very happy with that one but first off if you guys have been watching you should know what this one is already the Billie Eilish Air Force One Low. A shoe that's been doing very, very well for us. We bought a couple more pairs just because we're running out of those sizes and we needed a quick restock. And yeah, a shoe that's doing very well. We only picked up this colorway. We still have a couple in that dark green colorway that isn't moving as well as this tan colorway. Plus, we got these for a little bit cheaper, which is amazing. They were on sale even more. They dropped down all the way down to $88.18 per pair. So best believe we price match some more shoes. So bring in a lot more money, just price matching it. We saved this amount of money, which is absolutely insane considering it's just price matching. That money just going straight to the profit. We love to see that. And yeah, the Air Force One lows. We also got this, these Nike Zoom X running shoes. We got around four pairs of them all ranging in sizes got them for a very very good price i'm really happy with them they were 139.99 with 30 percent off the only unfortunate thing is it's missing the lid it was on the hash wall at nike that's why it's you know missing the lid but regardless retail price is 330 dollars and getting them for that cheap at 139.97 minus 30 percent we will definitely be able to move these and honestly, I'm very happy we picked these up because we've got these in the past and they do move for a pretty good profit. But that's not it. We also got this colorway, a much, much nicer colorway. Also, same thing with this one. Doesn't have the lid, but you know, can't complain at all about it. The next percent Flyknit 2s are just a really comfortable all around good running shoe and very happy we picked this one up as well. And honestly, I think we're going to make more money on this colorway than that black colorway, but that's not even it we got an even better colorway which is this one this purple colorway honestly this one's probably my favorite it is women's exclusive so they are women's sizes however these move for a lot of money considering the price was 330 dollars getting them for over half off crazy finds these always do really really good for me and yeah if you guys are new here and you haven't been watching this this is the kind of typical stuff we find majority of the stuff we do buy it's not always like hype jordans dunks not usually stuff like that it's stuff like this and you know i'm about to put you guys on because the next thing we got i guarantee you guys would have never thought twice about picking them up but the resale value on them is really good and it is this pair 
the Nike Air Rift. And as you can see, it has some, it's an ugly ass shoe. We can all agree it is mad, mad ugly. However, retail price of these $175. We picked up three pairs for $36.73 each. It's in the light bone honeydew colorway. And the crazy thing is these are ranging from like $100 to $150 depending on the size, which is absolutely insane. So that just goes to show it's not always about like those hyped up shoes that you guys are all familiar with. Shoes like these that you never would expect would give you some money is some of the shoes that you get the best ROI on. And I'm very happy I picked these up. They are women's sizes and mad ugly in my opinion. But then also shoes that we got in very small sizes are these. The Nike Legend 9 Elite Boot. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a soccer shoe. And unfortunately, we only got three sizes and they're very small sizes, like seven, seven and a half and six, I believe. And the original retail price of these are $290. You guys know it is getting into that summer season where these, these are gonna move really fast. They already have a really good resale value considering we only paid 73 bucks for them. As you can see, it comes with its own shoe bag. Pretty cool. Very happy we picked these ones up as well. Like I said, guys, it's not always about shoes like Jordan and stuff. Random ass shoes that you see at the Nike outlet. Majority of the time when I go to the Nike outlet and I pick up stuff that resells for good profit, it's stuff you would never bat an eye out. And if you've been watching this series, you should know that by now because we've had a ton of absolutely weird shoes that we have flipped for some good profit. But don't get me wrong, we also buy Jordans and stuff. Like what you're about to see right now, we picked up these Jordans absolutely love this jordan one low it's a very very clean it's like a gray and a very light brown colorway not gonna lie i'm not the biggest fan of the exposed foam on this shoe and the fact that they decided to have a two-tone white colorway on the sole i don't really like that at all like one part is an aged look and one is a very white look not the biggest fan of that but other than that this colorway it's not the worst thing i've ever seen we got three pairs, got them all for retail at I think 168 per pair. And yeah, when these come out, they always sell out really fast. So you have to let me know in the comments below, are you guys picking these ones up as personal? Because they're a really nice colorway. Only a few things I don't like about it, but at the end of the day, it's still a nice colorway, but let me know in the comments below. But we also got this pair of Jordans, which you guys should all know by now, the True Blue Jordan 1 Lowe's. You guys are probably wondering if you've been watching the past couple episodes, why would you buy more? Didn't you just buy like seven pairs of grade school sizes? Yes, I did do that. And are they selling the way I want them to sell? No. Am I still moving them? Yes, but arguably I would have liked to sell them a lot faster. However, this pair, men's sizes, we got a 13, 12, and 211, and we paid stupid cheap for these. $114.45 per pair. Yes, they were on sale for a crazy price that I could not say no to. So that's why we picked them up. And yeah, in my opinion, this is the nicest true blue colorway that has released. They released the highs, they released the mids. The lows, definitely my favorite colorway wise, and it just looks the best. I know they all look very similar because of the true blue colorway, but I think it looks the best on the lows. And yeah, we picked up one more thing, which are these the all red air force one low and we picked up a grand total of 15 pairs of these alone now you guys are all probably wondering why the hell would you buy 15 pairs of all red air force one lows and the answer is they were stupid cheap this is the cheapest i've ever seen them and i should be able to move them for almost double what i paid so they were on sale for 79.99 just bring it a little bit over 80 bucks per pair including tax and at that price best believe i can move these all day long for a very very good profit and yeah you guys have to let me know in the comments below have you ever seen the all red air forces drop down that cheap because I've never seen that. I've always seen them go to $9.99, but never to $79.99. So best believe we practically bought every size that they had left in the city. I'm sure there's a few sizes left. Not too sure if I'm gonna go buy some more of these, but I guess you'll know next episode. And yeah, that's everything we bought this episode. A crazy amount of stuff, but we also did sell a stupid amount of stuff this episode. 
So let's go through everything we saw this episode, starting with the Air Max Correlate Purple Turquoise Blue in a 9.5 women's. Then in the pure platinum colorway, we have a 10.5 and, and 9. Then in the white and red colorway, we have an 11.5. Then in the black and white colorway, we have two 13s, two 12.5s, two 11s, three 10.5s, a 9 two eight and a half two eights a seven and a half and two sevens then in the white neo teal colorway we have two thirteens three twelve and a half five twelves three eleven and a half three elevens four ten and a half three tens a nine and a half three nines two eight and a half two eights and a seven and a half then in the gray colorway we have three thirteens five twelves and eleven and a half eleven two ten and a half a nine and a half nine eight and a half and eight then in the Epic Phantom React Flying It Wolf Gray. We have 14, 13, 3 12s, 3 11 and a half, 5 11s, 6 10 and a half, 2 10s, 6 9 and a half, 8 9s, 2 8 and a half, and 3 8 then in the black and white colorway, we have a 14, 4 13s, 2 12s, 3 11 and a half, 4 11s. 7 10 and a half, 3 tens, 2 9 and a half, 5 nines, 5 8 and a half, 2 8, a 7 and a half, 2 sevens, then a 9 and a half women's, 3 9 women's, 3 8 and a half women's, and 3 8 women's, 2 7 and a half women's, and 2 7 women's. Then in the Air Max 2090 Barely Rose, we have a size 9 women's. Then in the black, white, and black colorway, we have a size 12, 11 and a half, 2 10 and a half, and a 10. Then a 9 and a half women three nine and a half women's two eight and a half women's and an eight women's a seven and a half women's and a seven women's then in the triple white colorway we have an 11 and a half 11 10 and a half two tens a nine and a half and a nine and yeah as you can see we sold a stupid amount of stuff this episode all that will be at the end of the episode when we go through our grand total of how much we actually made this episode but with that being said, we still have to go through everything in our inventory. So if you are new here and you don't know why we only have $9,000 in cash and you're wondering how has it been 80 plus episodes and you only have less than 10,000, this is exactly why. Let's go through everything in our inventory, including the stuff we just bought starting with then in the nike offline 2.0 summit white colorway we have a size 13 11 two tens a nine and a half nine and eight and a half then in the nike zoom x vaporfly next percent to black metallic gold coin we have two 11 and a half and 11 and eight then in the university gold colorway we have an eight and seven and a half then in the hyper violet flash crimson colorway we have a size 10 and eight and a half women's then we have the sem frank Rudy colorway in a size 13, 12, 11, and 10 and a half. Then in the normal M Frank Rudy colorway, we have a 12, 11, and 10 and a half. Then in the black metallic silver colorway, we have two nines. Then in the light bone colorway, we have a size 10 and a half and nine and a half. Then in the N7 colorway, we have a 12 and 10. Then in the triple black colorway, we have a size seven. Then in the Nike Air Max 90 Terrascape Raider foam black white colorway, we have two size 10s, two eight and a half, and an eight. Then in the Gore-Tex Photo Dust colorway, we have a size 13, 2 12s, 3 11 and a half, 2 11s, 2 10 and a half, 3 tens, and a 9 and a half. Then in the Olive Black Reflective colorway, we have 2 13s, a 10, 9, 8 and a half, and 8. Then in the Recraft Triple Black colorway, we have 2 13s and a 10. Then in the M Frank Rudy colorway, we have a 13 and 11. Then in the Tunnel Walk colorway, we have a 13, 12, 11, 10 and a half, and 3 9. Then in the Nike Air Max 2017 cool gray colorway, we have a size 12, 11 and a half, 11, two 10 and a half, two 10s, a nine and seven and a half. Then in the wolf gray colorway, we have a size 13, 12, 11, 10 and a half and 10. Then in the binary blue obsidian colorway, we have a size 12 and 11. Then in the pure platinum colorway, we have a size 13, 12, 11, 10 and a half, 10, eight and a half and eight. Then in the triple black colorway, we have a size 14, 12, 10 and a half, 3 10s, 2 9 and a half, a 9, 8 and a half, 8, 7 and a half, and 2 7s. Then in the high SP Billy Eilish Sequan, we have a size 12, 11, 10 and a half, 10, 9 and a half, 9, 8 and a half, and 8. 
Then in the mushroom colorway, we have a size 12, two 10 and a halfs, two 10s, two nine and a halfs, four nines, two eight and a halfs, and an eight. Then the Air Force One low triple white, we have an 11 and a half. Then in the reflective swoosh white blue colorway, we have a size 13. Then in the Uno colorway, we have a 12, nine and a half, seven, three six and a halfs, and a six. Then in the next nature white pale coral colorway, we have a 12, 10, eight and a half, and eight women's. Then in the white black pebble leather colorway we have a size 13 then in the university blue we have a size 13 11 and a half 11 and 8 then in the white metallic silver colorway we have an eight and a half then in the white chocolate colorway we have a ten and a half and eight and a half then in the triple red colorway we have three 13s three 12s two ten and a half two nine and a half two nines three eight and a half and an eight the air max one crate brown we have two 13s a 12 and a half 12 three 11 and a half two 11s, a 10 and a half, two 10s, two nine and a half, two nines, an eight and a half, three seven and a half, a six and a half, and six. Then in the George Green colorway, we have a size eight and seven. Then in the dirty denim colorway, we have two 13s, two 12s, two 10 and a half, a 10 and eight and a half. Then in the Nike Air Max 270 Golf black and white, we have a 13 and eight and a half. Then in the Oreo colorway, we have an eight, seven and a half, and six women's. Then in the men's white, black, metallic metallic silver colorway we have two 11 and a half then in the black anthrite colorway we have an 11 and a half and eight and a half then in the triple black colorway we have a size 10 and a half then in the nike air max plus white pure platinum we have a size 10 9 eight and a half eight seven and six and a half women's then in the white grape ice colorway we have two 13s and 11 10 and a half 10 two nines and an eight then in the black silver white colorway we have three 13s four 12s two 11 and a half three 10 and a half, a 10, a 3, 8 and a half, and an 8. Then in the black university blue colorway, we have a 13, 12, 11, and 10 and a half. Then in the white colorway, we have two 13, three 12s, a 4, 11, and two 10 and a half. Then in the spirograph colorway, we have a 13, 10 and a half, two 9 and a half, and a 9. Then the Air Max Thea Mid Ale Brown colorway, we have an 11, 8, 3, 7 and a half, and a 7 women's. Then in the black sail colorway, we have a 9, 8 and a half, 3, 8, a 7 and a half, and six and a half women's then in the react infinity run black iron gray we have a ten and a half and nine and a half then in the black colorway we have a 13 nine and eight then in the leopard colorway we have a nine and a half eight and a half seven and a half and five and a half women's then in the nike free rn black anthrite colorway we have a 13 at 12 and a half 12 11 and a half 10 and a half two tens a nine and a half two nines and two eight and a half then in the black white ombre colorway we have a ten and a half nine and a half and nine then in the wolf gray colorway we have an 11 10 and a half 10 and nine and a half then in the nike tempo legend 9 elite fg black metallic gold we have a seven and a half seven and six and a half then in the nike air rift light bone honeydew light silver sail colorway we have two nine women's and a five women's then in the peach cream colorway we have a size 10 women's two nine and a half a nine two eight and a half an eight two seven and a half a seven and six women's then in the just do it sail team red we have a six and a half women's then in the indigo haze we have an eight and seven and a half women's then in the phantom metallic gold colorway we have an eight and a half nine and a half and two ten women then in the terry swoosh colorway we have a ten nine and a half nine eight and a half and five women's then in the light smoke gray colorway we have a six and seven women's then in the arizona state colorway we have a 13 and 12 then in the pink oxford colorway we have a 10 two nine women two eight and a half a seven and a half seven and six and a half women's then in the next nature rift blue colorway we have a size 10 then in the essential paisley pack barely we have a size seven and a half women's then in the miami hurricanes colorway we have a size 13 then in the acid wash baltic blue volt colorway we have a one y then in the deadpool colorway a six and a half y then in the anthrite white colorway we have a size 12 11 10 nine and a half and nine then in the jordan wine not 0.5 bloodline we have an 11 and a half and nine and a half then in the jordan zion 2 voodoos we have three ten and a half and two tens then in the Jordan 13 University Blue, we have eight 13s, four 12s, six 11 and a half, six 11s, a 10 and a half, and nine and a half. Then in the French Blue colorway, we have a six and a half and six Y. Then in the playoff colorway, we have a seven Y. 
Then in the Jordan 12 florals, we have a size 7Y, two 6.5Ys, a 6Y, a 5.5Y, and a 4Y. Then in the Jordan 11 cherries, we have a size 10, 8.5, 8, 6Y, two 4.5Ys, three 4Ys, and two 3.5Ys. Then in the Jordan 9 fire reds, we have three 13, six 12s, six 11s, 11 10 and a halfs, two nine and a halfs, three nines, two eight and a halfs, and eight and seven. Then in the Jordan 7 citruses, we have a size 12, two 11s, a 10 and a half, and 10. Then in the Jordan 6 Georgetowns, we have six 13s, two 12s, six 11, two 10 and a halfs, a 10, two nine and a halfs, a nine and eight. Then in the Jordan 5 UNCs, we have four size 13s, a 12, and a size eight. Then in the Jordan 5 low PSG, we have a size 11. Then in the Jordan 4 mid Midnight Navy, we have two size five Ys. Then in the seafoam colorway, we have a size 10 and nine and a half women. Then in the dark iris colorway, we have a size 12, 11 and a half, and 11. Then in the white cement reimagined, we have two four Ys. Then in the marina blue colorway, in a size six women's. Then in the inside out tech gray colorway, we have a size 10, eight and a half, and eight. Then in the true blue colorway, we have a 13, 12, two 11s, seven seven Ys, a five and a half, and five Y. Then in the barely grape colorway, we have an eight and a half and eight women's. Then in the game royal colorway, we have a 12. Then in the stealth colorway, we have a size 10, nine, eight and a half, eight, and seven and a half women. Then in the Jordan 1 high taxis, we have two seven Ys, four 13, and a size eight. Then in the washed pink colorway, we have two nine women's. Then in the lost and found colorway, we have a size one and a half Y, two one Ys, a five C, and a seven C. The stealth colorway in a six and four y then in the nyc to paris colorway we have a seven and a half then the white black volt university gold colorway in a nine and a half then in the court purple 2.0 we have a ten and a half then in the starfish colorway we have a seven and a half seven two six and a half two six a five and a half and five women's and finally the jordan one high dior's in a size nine and a half and yeah like i said we have tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars in our inventory alone now that is just our actively selling inventory we have a separate inventory that we're holding on to as an investment we have some jordan one mids we have jordan four lightnings we have a bunch of stuff that we're holding on to as an investment so that is why that grand total may seem so low but just imagine if we sold everything in our inventory we would have pretty close to that hundred thousand dollar mark in my opinion but thank you guys for watching to the end of the video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of my newest videos comment down below how you thought of this episode i would really love some feedback i interact with every single comment so comment down below let me know how this episode went with all that being said guys let's roll our brand new tally right now